game poke. The Hori Wired Mini Gamepad. An official licensed product for the PS4, believe it or not. This little thing baffled me when I first heard about it, so I've been waiting to get hold of one. Now this isn't going to be an unboxing video or any shit like that, I'm going to review what I honestly think about this controller and whether it is worth getting, because as you can see, it's damn cheap compared to the normal £50 plus controllers. So this will be interesting to see if it's actually worth getting. As I said, it is officially licensed by Sony, it's just not made by them. So is it good? Is it bad? Well, we're going to find out. Well, here it is out of the box, and I'm really quite surprised how light it is. Now, first of all, with a controller, if it's light, that would make you worry, because you think, oh, there's not as much in it, so it's not that strong. But the buttons feel good, they feel responsive. The weirdest thing is, for some reason, as you can see, the square button is on the piss slightly. In fact, I think they all kind of are. The analog buttons feel good. Options, share, they feel good. This is supposed to be the touch pad. Ugh. Luckily, on the original PS4 controller, that's something I never really use, so I don't give a shit. The D-pad feels a little on the spongy side. If I'm completely honest, I am most worried about this. Back buttons feel quite responsive, have a bit of clickiness to them, it's fine. All in all, I think this is worth 25 quid. As you can see, it's wired. It is not wireless, there's nothing you can do about it. You have plenty of fucking cord though, so that's a good thing. They're obviously not doing an NES Classic on you. But, well, let's put it this way. I didn't just buy this today, I also got this. Yes, it's the Saturday after Black Friday. This was £10 cheaper than normal, so I thought I'll have that. There is your size difference. So when you compare it next to a normal PS4 controller, the size isn't actually that mini. Your normal PS4 controller fits very snugly in your hand. Good grip for anything. This, it serves its own stupid purpose I never cared about. But when you feel this in your hands and then straight away go to this, I'm trying to think of the main purposes for this. And the main ones that I can actually think of is if you're playing 2D platformer games, this would be fine. It would be fine for that. It's a nice sort of old school feel and comfort to it. Oh, by the way, it does apparently come in blue, which is a bit of a pisser because I would have liked the blue one, but they only had red in the shop I went to, anywho. But I suppose if your son, if you have children who want to play your PS4 and you're like, well, I don't want you fucking up my good controller, well, you can get them one of these and just think, meh. I mean, I don't see anyone dropping it and breaking it. It's definitely going to be able to withstand a bit of a bashing. All in all, 25 quid. You know what? I think it's worth it. It doesn't feel cheap. The only thing that would make it truly awesome is if it works with a PS3. <sighs> Honestly, can't see that happening. I'm not that lucky. Oh, and one thing that is a bit of a downside. As you know, with some PS4 games, you have a motion detector in your controller, so if you tilt right and left, whatever on the screen would also tilt right and left. Like if you're flying a jet in some sort of visual video game bullshit. That kind of crap. Well, there is no motion detecting equipment within this, which doesn't surprise me because it doesn't feel like there's much of anything in this. That's the only thing this is lacking, as far as I can tell, is that one little feature, which I really don't give a fuck about. Oh, that, and if you're one of them people that can actually type with the touchpad, I have given it a go and I can't stand it. I still do it old school styling. But all in all, I would give this maybe an 8 out of 10 on whether it's good enough. If you want to control it and you don't want to go blowing 60 fucking quid, I would recommend this. As a budget answer that does work, I would recommend it. Another funny thing I just noticed is that the picture on the box is actually to scale. So thank you very much for watching this quick and short review of the Hori Wired Mini Gamepad. If you'd like to go out and try it for yourself, go ahead and do it. It is actually worth the 25 quid. I wouldn't pay a fucking penny more for it though. So again, thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to support the channel and do anything you can to help keep us afloat, just click the subscribe button. It's all that's asked for. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.